Hey guys, it's Film Buzz Hub here, and today we're talking about The Nun 2. Now, I know what you're thinking, The Nun 2? Really? But hear me out. I wasn't a huge fan of the first film, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by this sequel. In 1956, Father Moret and Jacques played out their everyday errands at a congregation in Tarascon, France. While researching an unsettling influence, Moret is raised out of sight, set ablaze, and consumed to death. Meanwhile, Jacques looks as he clutches the cleric's rosary, following the occasions at Holy Person Carthus Cloister, Sister Irene presently serves in a religious community in Italy. Maurice works at a life experience school in France, where he has befriended a youthful Irish young lady named Sophie, as well as an educator and her mom, Kate. Irene has a dream of Maurice requesting that she save him, and the following day, she is requested by the Cardinal to explore a series from passing across Europe. While Irene goes to Tarascon, Sister Deborah, a youthful fledgling, joins her without consent. During the train ride, Deborah communicates her trouble in tolerating supernatural occurrences, like the genuine presence of Christ in the Eucharist, while Irene makes sense of her authentic significance. At Tarascon, Irene has a dream where she follows Jacques into a backstreet however winds up getting stifled by Valak, the evil presence who appears as a religious recluse. The following morning, Deborah lets Irene know that she had met with Jacques and he had given her dad Noret's rosary. Simultaneously, in the life experience school, Sophie is harassed by her colleagues and secured in the neglected house of prayer of the school where nobody is permitted to enter. The harassers advise her to take a gander at a window with a goat on the mosaic and guarantee that on the off chance that she turns away, Satan will seem to torment her. The sun radiates through the mosaic and makes the eye of the goat sparkle red. Irene and Deborah travel to Paletta Papes and meet with a bookkeeper who lets them know that the devil they are examining was a holy messenger dismissed by God and that the seal on the rosary is the family peak of Saint Lucy, who was martyred by an agnostic. However she was set ablaze by the agnostics, she wonderfully didn't pass on, Saint Lucy's family protected her eyes and scattered all through the world. The bookkeeper proposes that the evil spirit is killing the relatives of St. Lucy since it needs this artifact, the eyes, which were last known to be put away in a previous cloister, which is uncovered to be a live-in school in the current day. Irene and Deborah go to the school to track down Maurice in trouble with Sophie and Kate. Irene lets Maurice know that the evil presence is within him and is crushed by the disclosure, however is then taken over by the devil and goes after Irene and Deborah, prior to being thumped oblivious. Inside the church of the school, Sophie shows Irene, Deborah, and Kate the game her colleagues made her play and Deborah utilizes a spotlight to make the eyes of the goat on the mosaic gleam red. The red light focuses on where the eyes of Saint Lucy are covered and Irene tracks down the artifact, Deborah and Kate are isolated from Irene and Sophie to safeguard the students from an evil spirit goat. Affected by the evil presence, Maurice escapes and goes after Irene, while Sophie gets the artifact and takes off. Maurice pursues Sophie and causes the ringer tower working to implode. Irene tracks down Sophie inside, and Deborah reunites with the pair. Deborah concedes that she has seen a marvel and has confidence. Irene utilizes the artifact against Maurice until he figures out how to hold it himself. He lifts Irene in the air and sets her ablaze, yet she doesn't consume as she understands that she is a relative of Saint Lucy and can saddle a similar power related to the artifact. Irene and Deborah start to implore the expressions of foundation utilized in Christian festivals of the Eucharist and barrels of wine present at the previous cloister become the blood of Christ. As the blood of Christ drenches Valak, the evil spirit perishes and is condemned back to damnation, so, that's my review of the nun too. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more movie reviews. Thanks for watching.